This pie will splat those fools, he said. But can our hero detective stop the pie before it goes splat? <laughs> can he? Yes, look, he can. He cuts the fuse wire and the black hand is caught red-handed. The end. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was a great story, Richard. It certainly was, wasn't it, Sue? Hey. It's the most exciting story you've ever heard, really. Well, I think that's enough excitement for one night. It's time you lot got some sleep, so into bed. Yes, it is getting rather late. Oh. Yeah, I totally lost track of the time reading that story. Good night, Sue. Good night, Richard. <laughs> Good night, Sweep. Oh, looks like someone can't wait to get to sleep. Are you really tired, Sooty? You want to get to sleep quickly so you can dream about being a hero detective. Oh, I see. Well, uh, make sure the black hand doesn't splat you with any pies. <laughs> Good night, little fella. Sweet dreams. On a mission to track down that dastardly do batter, the Black Hand, Sooty's Secret Service speeds to the scene of his latest crime. <laughs> Can you see him, boys? <laughs> oh, the what do you make of this secret, Sooty? You're right, it was below the belt. <laughs> the Black Hand has hit rock bottom. Come on, quick, back to the camper van. Hello there, young man. Oh, hello, madam. <laughs> uh, we are three detectives and we're keeping the streets safe for ladies like yourself. Oh, that's very kind of you. It's nice to know that somebody actually cares. <laughs> May I shake your hand? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Here, have this lovely bowl of porridge to keep your strength up. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> What a kind old lady. Yes, Agent Bone. A bowl of porridge. How nice. Ah! Look! The black hand! <gasps> that old lady! <laughs> they didn't recognise me because... <laughs> I am a master of disguise. <laughs> hey, what does the note say? Oh, yes, there's a note. It says... This bowl of porridge will go splat in ten seconds. Sign the Black Hand. <gasps> oh, Sooty, quickly! Deactivate it! Deactivate the porridge! Not with a hammer! Quickly, I'm um, uh, Don't hit me with that just uh, Don't go for the yellow white! No! No, no, no! no the red one! <laughs> Catch me if you can! <laughs> The old splatting porridge routine. That villain must be caught. <laughs> look, look where? At the thread. Ah, a trail of thread. What do you make of that secret, Sooty? <laughs> it belongs to the Black Hand. He must have caught it on the mirror when he was dressed as a little old lady. Oh, oh, so if we follow the thread, we'll find the Black Hand. <laughs> Sooty, at last, a thread of evidence. <laughs> a thread of evidence. <laughs> Come on. So, as Secret Sooty follows the thread, we ask the question, who is really pulling the wool? Will this lead Sooty to the Black Hand, or just up the garden path? So, Secret Sooty, what's the plan? The Black Hand must be hiding behind this gate. <gasps> You want me to go and chase him out and then you'll nab him? Ha <laughs> ha! Come on then, let's nail that vile villain. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, little doggy. <laughs> Did 
Did I find the black hand? No, I didn't. The heartless hoodlum. It was another trap. Oh, the rotten rotter. <laughs> yes, I'm a right rotten rotter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, boys, we're going to have to stick this one out and wait for the black hand to make his next move. <laughs> You're right, Agent Bone. A black hand rubber sucker arrow. What do you make of this secret, Sooty? Look, there's a note attached to it. I'll read it. And it says, if you can't find something you're looking for, Ask a policeman! <laughs> That's it! Come on, boys, to the police station! <laughs> we'll soon fix that black hand. <laughs> Oi! Wait for me! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny! Hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? Officer, you are just the man we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Pleased to meet you. Oh, pleased to meet you too, yes. We are the Sooty Secret Service. I hear you've been looking for the Black Hand. Yes. Well, that'd be re really intriguing, boy, because I've been looking for the Black Hand for years now. <laughs> yes, I can help you. I'll tell you what, you take hold of this lovely bowl of baked beans while I go and fetch my notebook. Yes, of course. I'll be back in a tick. <laughs> How good is that, boys? That policeman is actually going to help us find the black hand as soon as I... <gasps> ah! <laughs> You're right! The black hand has struck again! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they didn't recognise me because... <laughs> I am a master of disguise! <laughs> Read the note. Oh, no. This bowl of beans will go pow in ten seconds. Signed, the Black Hand. <gasps> oh, quickly, Sutty, deactivate the timing mechanism. We've got less than ten seconds before these beans go pow. Quickly, anything you can do, then start cleaning it off. Just get the scissors and cut the wire. Quickly, Sutty, do something. Don't do oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baked bean in me. <laughs> Determined to catch the black hand, the Sooty Secret Service decide it's time for a stakeout. So, Secret Sooty, is Agent Bone in position? Oh, yes, I see him. And look, he's got a high powered set of binoculars. Hello, Agent Bone, anything to report? <laughs> The Black Hand? You've spotted him! Where is he, Agent Bone? 100 metres to our left? We can't see him, Sweep! He's by the tree? Oh, yes, I see him! Come on, Sooty, steady now, take aim, fire! <laughs> Agent Bone, what's the Black Hand doing now? <laughs> Emergency? What's happening? <laughs> what is it, Agent Bone? It's time to close the case. It's time to close the case. What are you doing, Secret Sooty? The case is closed. <laughs> yes, Sooty, you got him, you got him. Come on. Huh? Well, well, get off me. Get off me, don't you know I am? I'm the Black Hand. Let me go. Well done, Sooty. Sooty, 
Sooty! Sooty! You've been sleepwalking again! <laughs> Sooty, get this net off me at once. I look ridiculous. Oh, I don't know, Richard. You look quite a catch. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Right, what's all this about? It's a long story. Oh, we better say goodbye quickly then. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs> Farmer Francis. Hiya, Sooty. How are you, Cocker? Hello, gang. Hiya. I can't tell you how excited I am to see you all. In fact, ooh, I could crush a grape. Now listen, why don't you all have a good look round the farm so you know where everything is, and then we can all start working. I can't wait. Ooh, I could jump off a doll's house. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> like my farm? I know, it's a knockout, isn't it? Right, first job. You three, go to the barn and bring the straw for all the animals. And Sue, will you help me to walk the ponies? Oh, yes, please. I love ponies. You do? Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Ooh, I could jive with a jelly baby. <laughs> OK, everybody, off to work. <laughs> So do we need to load this straw into this trailer. So when I tell you to, you pass it down to me, I'll put it in the floor. <laughs> Not yet. When I tell you to, you pass it down to me, I'm there. <laughs> Why didn't you wait for me to say? It'll take ages. Is what I call the final straw. Oh, 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 this is brilliant! In fact, I could crush a grape. <laughs> That's knockout, Sue. <laughs> What I'm doing. <laughs> you don't think I do? Ha! Huh, I'll show you. You're looking at Mr. Slater's next chief executive. Oh, yes, I'm on the way up. I've spent my life going round in circles, but no more. Tractor. Right. Now then, my lovelies, the next job. Sue and Sweep, you come with me to the cow shed. Okay. Sooty and Richard, you can feed the chickens. I know you're going to be smashing at this. I'm so excited. Ooh, I could wrestle an action man. Come on. Right then, Sooty, let's feed these chickens now. When I tell you, flick the grain at the... the not at me when I tell you to flick the grain at the... 
Flick the grain at the chickens. Wait for me. Come on, I'll get them round here. Chick, 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 chicken. Chick, 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 chicken. Now, Sooty, flick the grain. Now, everyone, meet Daisy. <gasps> Hello, Daisy. Hello. Hello. Right, old cocker, it's the last job. Oh. I want you to wash Daisy's udders, and when she's all nice and clean, then you can milk my lovely little moo cow. Oh, she gives the best milk ever. Don't you, Daisy? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could test drive a tonker. <laughs> <laughs> Right, gang, this is the last job, so it's got to be perfect. Mr. Slate has finally recognised my true worth, and all I have to do is... <coughs> ..wash the muck off a cow. <laughs> all right, all right. Very funny. You'll be showing me much more respect when I'm a top executive. Oh, Richard's becoming a right smarty-pants. Don't worry, you'll teach him a lesson. Oh, good. Come on, Daisy, let's get you cleaned up. Easy, Wizzy. Let's get busy. Where's my bucket? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face when I'm in business with Mr. Slater. Mm. Easy, Wizzy. Let's get busy. Get off! What's going on here? You see, we see, let's get busy! Oh! Where's Daisy? You see, we see, let's get busy! Let's get this milk over to Farmer Francis and then he can tell Mr. Slater what a good job we've done. Come on, let's go! Yippee! <laughs> Come on, Gertie, goats out of the way, that's it. Oh. I'm so glad Mr. Slater saw the potential in me. He knows in the world of business I'm going to make a big splash. Oh! Richard making a big splash. <laughs> all right, all right. Get a move on. You'll soon stop laughing when I make it in business. Oh dear. Looks like you're in business already. <laughs> Hi, Farmer Francis! Daisy's milk, Farmer Francis, and we've finished all the jobs. Well, thank you very much for all your help on the farm today, everybody. Now, have you washed your hands? Yes. yes. Good, because I've got something very special for you. <laughs> <laughs> and Richard, Mr Slater asked me to present something very special to you for all your hard work. Ooh, is it a slice of the business? You guessed it, Sunshine. You got it. A slice of my best cheese, and that is the business. Hey, A slice of the business? Is that it? Oh, dear! <laughs> Sotty said that's so funny, he could crush a grape. So could I! And so could I. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. bye. Oh, boys, I'm sure it must be in here somewhere. Are you having any luck, sweet? You found a box. Excellent. What's in it? Oofal dust. That's Sooty's magic dust. Well, I don't think our fancy dress costumes are going to be in there, Bone Brain. Keep looking. What is it, Sooty? Have you found something? Wow! The fancy 
fancy dress costumes. Well done, Sooty, you found them. Hey, look, it's my Cinderella dress. What a relief. I thought it was lost forever. Sweep, sweep. <laughs> Sausage brain. You can't wait to put on a costume, Sooty. Nor can I. In fact, I'm going to put mine on right now. <laughs> I hope I win the fancy dress competition. Yes, you're on the guest list. In you go. And you look fantastic, by the way. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Oh, hello there. I've got a very important job today. It's our annual fancy dress competition, and Mr Slater has put me in charge of security. It's my job to make sure that everyone who goes in there is on the guest list, because, um... Between you and me, we've had some problems in the past. You see, every year, Mr Slater's arch-rival, Barry Bonkers, tries to sneak in here, ruin everyone's costumes, and get all the prizes for himself. Ha-ha! <laughs> but not this time. Not with me in charge. He won't even get close! <laughs> That's what you think, Richard Cadell. That's what you think. <laughs> Did you hear something? Hello, Richard. Stay right where you are. You are entering a restricted area. A what? It's me, Richard. Oh, really? That's exactly what Barry Bonkers would want me to think, isn't it? I can prove it's me because... I brought the clean jacket you asked me for. Here you are, Richard. Oh, Sue, it really is you. Oh, do you know, I had a bit of an accident with this jacket. Sooty and ketchup do not mix. Oh, and I also brought... your favourite pair of underpants. Uh, hang on a minute. What have you bought these for? I've told you before, Sue, do not parade my pants in public. And anyway, just like to state for the record, these are not mine. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. My mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely costume, by the way. Thank you. Which reminds me, I must get changed into my costume soon. Hello there. Hang on a minute. Who have you come as? Well, Richard, I'm a big fan, so I've come as you. <laughs> oh, how good is that? Oh, that's br Well, go on in then. Go on in you go. And best of luck. Bye. <laughs> how good is that? <laughs> right. I must go and get changed myself. Trap will ensure that I win the fancy dress competition. <laughs> when the time is right, all I have to do is to pull on this rope. The bucket will tip, and every costume will be covered in a satisfying splodge of gold. <laughs> wow! You all look fantastic! Excuse me. Hello, boys. Wow! Cool costumes. Your spider bear and super dog? Of course, the famous heroes. Hey, boys, boys, did you know your costumes are sparkling? Am I meant to do that? What's that, Sooty? Oh, you've got oofal dust on your costumes, and it's made the magic. So now you've got superpowers like the real spider bear and super dog. Wow! <laughs> you thought you were a bit fast. <laughs> Do I want some food? Oh, yes, that's a good idea. I am feeling rather peckish. Come on, boys. Wow, he is fast, Sooty.
cleaned up or Richard won't be very impressed. Have either of you seen him? He's gone to get changed. Oh, 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 oh look! Here's someone dressed as a traffic cone. <laughs> Ooh, looks like road rage. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Boys and girls, can I have your attention, please? It's Richard Cadell speaking. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all remember that last year the fancy dress competition was ruined by the dastardly Barry Bonkers and his terrible treacle trap. Well, boys and girls, I'm sorry to tell you that the same thing has happened this year. That's right. Barry Bonkers is back and he's there, disguised as a traffic cone. What? Don't worry, Richard. We'll sort him out. That's it. Sort out the bounder. Look, that man can't possibly be Richard. Why? Because he's wearing the stained jacket. And Richard changed the jacket earlier. Mr. Slater's going to be ever so pleased with me. <laughs> okay, gather around, folks, gather around. It's time for the fancy dress competition. And the winner is in for a real treacle. Treat! It's in for a real treat. <laughs> so now, the moment you've all been waiting for! Yay! Actually, could you just all move? Just, just that way, just that way. And then up! And just, just in a bit. Just a bit closer, just a bit closer. That's the... Just a little bit closer. Perfect. <laughs> Look, boys! He's got a treacle trap! <coughs> Quick, boys! Do something! <coughs> this competition is about to meet a sticky end. Once again, all the prizes shall be mine! <coughs> <coughs> Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>